Don't check. test Mike. Mike check. No, no, he's not on. Oh. No, it's on. Got it. Cool. Does everybody else got booms, or is anybody else got? Yeah, is anyway, Julian. At approximately 2159 hours this evening, we had an officer respond to 4513 Rosswood. Uh, he was doing follow-up on a terroristic act which occurred last evening during his shift. Uh, around about the same time, on the 21st at 2050 hours, or 850, there was a, a shooting that occurred, a drive-by shooting. He was doing follow-up, checking on the residents when Lo and behold, uh, a suspect or suspects drive by and uh, shoot at the home again. During this, he was struck twice in the leg. Uh, he was transported from this scene by other officers via police car. He's uh, currently at UMS in stable condition. Uh, our detectives are on scene. They have developed uh, some suspect information. We're not quite ready to give that out yet. Um, the investigation is ongoing. No one else inside of the home was struck either uh, last night or this evening other than our officer. We will identify him as soon as we can make contact with his family members and make sure that they are aware and at the hospital with him. And that's about all we're ready to give out right now. Do I have any preliminary questions? Uh, was he undercover? Was he in uniform with a marked squad car? Or? He was in uniform. He had parked his car just a couple of houses down the block. So it wasn't like he was uh, not in uniform or not readily identifiable. It's just uh, the perpetrators evidently weren't paying enough attention to realize there was a police car three houses down from the incident. So he wasn't targeted as a police officer, he just happened to be at the scene as another shooting occurred? Is that what you're saying? We really can't draw any conclusions based on that right now. We can tell you that this address has had uh, several terroristic acts occur in the last year. Uh, just as I said, one last night. I don't have the rest of the incident history, but I know there have been other drive-by shootings at this residence. Did the officer return fire? He did not. He was the only officer on scene and he just called for backup after he was shot or how did that, how did other officers? Yes, ma'am. He, he was just doing a courtesy follow-up to make sure that everything was fine at the house to see if anything else had occurred since the time of the original terrorist attack that happened last evening. And that's when this subsequent incident occurred. Um, how many other people were in the area that possibly could have potentially been shot? Were he with a bunch of people? I don't know the exact number. I know there were uh, multiple people inside of the residence at the time of the shooting. How long was the officer on scene from the time that he arrived to? I don't know the exact time. I don't know exactly how long that duration was. Uh, given the history of incidents that's happened at this house, I mean, would there be protocol for the officer to respond to the house alone and not already arrive with backup just in case? Well, not necessarily. If he's doing follow-up, it's just like any of our officers. If he's just doing a courtesy check, not necessarily. Uh, now, if he was responding to an active call uh, of aggression or a shooting in progress or disturbance, yes, he would definitely have backup. But if he's just being a good officer and checking on his community, seeing how they're doing, not necessarily, no, sir. Where exactly was he when he was shot? Inside, outside, lawn, bedroom? To the best of my knowledge, he was on the front porch area at the front door. you guys know how many shots were fired? If he was shot twice in the leg, that probably have been a lot. No, ma'am. No. Is there any information that you can release about the officer's condition? We've been told he's in stable condition. Uh, uh, thankfully, there's no no fear of loss of life at this time. When was the last time the lower up officer was shot? Do you know? Officer Barnes, I, I don't know. Uh, which agencies did you have respond uh, tonight? 
I know uh, primarily we have a, a lot of LRPD, of course, but I know we've ha had some state police who've come, uh, and that's about all that I know of. I know we have some task force officers that were working some different things, and they're made up of some different federal agencies. Uh, and, and I won't go start naming them off because I don't want to leave somebody out, but they've, they're have they sweeping the area, helping us look for some of the suspect uh, that we have gained preliminary information on. One last question. Um, yep. I know that um, you guys originally had an agreement with ASP to do officer-involved shooting um, investigations. That got thrown out. Are you guys going to be doing this investigation? Or will be over to yes, ma'am. This isn't an officer involved shooting. This uh, an officer was shot, but he okay. did not shoot anyone else. Thank you. We'll release more information as soon as we okay. can. I've got one more question. Is there anything that you can share to the residents of the neighborhood or just the community in the area? Anything to you know ensure safety or just anything that you want to share in that regard? Yes. If they see anything suspicious, they should immediately call 911 and have us come out. Nothing is in, insignificant, especially when we've had repeated violent offenses at an address. So call us. We'll come. Thank you.